Hey everybody, Mr. T back for another beer review and this time we go out to the East Bay, Altamont, and get a little Citra Haze. It's a pale ale, uh, 5.2, so I'm uh, expecting a beer that's kind of light, something you drink during the summer. You know, like it's summer right now and it's hot, but well, it's not really hot because it's never really summer around here. In fact, our summers around here are probably late September, October, and maybe the first week of November, but October Love October and the end of September. Though that's like summer to me. Summer here is not summer. If you live here long enough, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It took me a while to be honest with you. When I first played with the Warriors, I got here and it was, I forget, you know, you play the season, you come back for summer ball and you're practicing and it's 54 to start off the day in July and I'm from LA. I'm like, what? 54? What happened? And the marine layer burns off and it's like, woo, it's all the way up to 68. This is fantastic. <laughs> I wouldn't mind a couple of extra degrees, but uh, anyway, if it is hot, 68 seems perfectly fine to drink this. In fact, I'd probably even go down to like 34. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna have to, but Altamont always makes great stuff. So let's try their Citra Haze. One of my favorite hops is Citra. So I'm expecting this is gonna be really good. Ooh, and it is really good. You can tell it's lighter, it's not an IPA, it's not quite as heavy. Killer can too. I mean, that thing, if you stare at that thing too long, it's gonna burn your irises. That that thing is that's got some color to it. And I was reading here, uh, it's got notes of melon, passion fruit, lychee. I think lychee is that little white thing they put in the, in the, the tea sometimes, like lychee tea and stuff. Uh, kind of sweet, and then gooseberry. Yeah, that sounds made up, doesn't it? Gooseberry, like duck duck gooseberry. I don't know. Is there a gooseberry? There's like blackberry, raspberry, boysenberry, and blue. You get all kinds of berries. I don't know if I've heard of gooseberry before. Even lingonberry, I've heard of. Lingonberry is what they put on Swedish pancakes, by the way, in case you didn't know, the little flat pancakes. Those things are awesome. If you haven't had a Swedish pancake, definitely do so. And then, after breakfast, you know where you go? Of course, South Winchester Barbecue for your barbecue needs and beer. That's where this one came from. That's where a lot of the beers I review come from. They do a great job of going out, procuring beer, and bringing it back so you don't have to do the legwork. And then when you go there for the beer, you can stay for the fantastic barbecue, or you can go for the barbecue and stay for the fantastic beer, whatever the case may be. If you're going and it's a nice day, and you want to bring the dog, you can sit out on the porch with your poochie, give him some water, you have some beer and some barbecue, and you are good to go. So as always, Altamont, fantastic stuff. I highly recommend this beer. Citrus Haze Pale Ale at about 5.2. A tremendous barbecue beer out there barbecue and drink this bad boy you will not be disappointed so thanks again to south winchester barbecue for sponsoring this fiasco